adapts to how popular the individual is rather than the nutrition aspect, the real true uh, impact of what this individual is eating. So I can totally see why she has such an amazing following. <laughs> this is Gary, High Fruit Carburetor. And today I'm packing a lot of information into a short video. That's something I've wanted to do for years. I just never had the discipline. Well, there isn't very much to go on about in this video. There's three things here. I'm going to show you Freely's channel glitching. I've never seen this before on YouTube. And while I was there, I decided to put in a couple things within her video that are worth noting. She shows a different side of her personality while calling out Abby Sharp. I thought that's worth showing. Also, Freely said something strange about the protein content in an unnatural vegan breakfast, <laughs> which reminds me, I made a video about Abby Sharp's breakfast <laughs> a few weeks back. Let's start with the content. Reaction to Abby Sharp. All right, here's Freely's channel, and she reviews Abby's. Ooh, doesn't use her last name there. Hmm, is that a strategy? Okay, here's a clip showing Abby Sharp watching an unnatural vegan video and reviewing her diet. I guess I've just never seen those videos of Unnatural Vegan. I don't really know what she does, except for bullshit, about other vegans' diet. So this is a little interesting in itself. What I eat in a day, like, it's too interesting. Uh, not, I had a salad, what do you know? Just mention a salad. Interesting. Uh, so I had some romaine. Look at, her, look at her smiling and laughing at her saying, interesting. <laughs> like, she's just, she's sucking up. She's so disingenuous chia seeds and the coconut i love this she also gives this. a lot of great little kind of fast meal hacks and prep tips so i really appreciate that okay so she loves it of course because what abby sharp does is she goes and looks at how popular the individual is at that time she's like is she getting a lot of support and um swayze was from basically my hater and tries to siphon it over to her channel so that's why she's popular along with being backed by the meat and dairy industry you see her sucking up to Swayze's followers? I can tell why she has amazing following. Like, seriously, stop, Abby. You're so transparent. We got you worked out. Abby's unnatural vegan diet review. And you can see here that this is Freely's video. And, and notice, you scroll down to the comments. Why is there only nine comments after two years? And look at these comments here. Now these comments, what happened here is, I guess I watched to the end of the video and then YouTube jumped to the next video on my playlist. I was on the Watch Later playlist. And then came the next video on my playlist, which was Lionel Richie. So I pressed the back button to read the comments under Freely's video. Oh. But the comments of the Lionel Richie video stayed here under Freely's video. Diet check that out a couple of days ago, um, the difference between her review of me and of Swayze's diet. And, you know, it came, my diet actually, my review came before Swayze's and then she did this review on Swayze. And it's just, it's completely, you can see the favoritism. It's just so disingenuous. Let's check out the macros on the oatmeal. 26 grams of fat, oh, wow. 72.5 grams of carbs, and 16.3 grams. Holy moly. Okay, that is way too much fat. I mean, that's about the amount of fat that I would have in a day. Um, the carbohydrates is low as well, and the protein is too high. Moving on, I had a salad. What do you know? Just mention a salad. Interesting. Uh, so I had... Did you catch it? Did you catch Freely's glitch there? Or was it a glitch? It's gotta be. Her comment about 16 grams of protein. Not only did she say it was too much protein, I mean, maybe it's just that us high fruit vegans are always saying too much protein. But 16 grams, that's not a lot. To put it in perspective of how that's not a lot, fruit is the lowest protein food. A piece of fruit has about, they say, one gram of protein. That's what some labels print. But the raw food community will point out that cooking destroys some protein and that the way they find out how much protein's in a food is by cooking it and then analyzing it as it's cooking. Maybe analyzing the electromagnetic radiation coming off of it. That's how it's done in astronomy. And cooking a food destroys some of the protein usability. So some people say that a piece of fruit has somewhere around 1.5 grams of protein or maybe more. 
Well, let's say 1.5. That would mean, let's see, eight, let's see, 10, 12. So the amount of fruit it would take to get to 16 grams of protein would be somewhere around 11 fruits. <laughs> Now, I don't eat that much at a time, but, but I know somebody who does. <laughs> and people are always saying, well, I'm even saying my protein consumption is really low at about 35 grams a day. And if you got 16 grams at three meals a day, that's 45 grams, which doesn't even reach the minimum of the RDA. So what's going on here? Is Freely just glitching? Requirement. No, it's not a requirement. So today, the 26th, I was all set to finish up this video, but first I had to sit down to a meal of pineapple, and I always pick something to watch on YouTube. I thought of working on catching up with Freely. I picked this video from two years ago, and I found something that fits into this video. I was on the Frugivore Diet channel for over three months, and it was a bit of an experiment to see how the algorithm went, and the views, the amount of people I'm actually reaching are going down as my subscribers are going up. So it just, some very fascinating algorithmic things going on there, right? A little bit of magic by YouTube. So I'm not being suggested there. I already showed that in one of my other videos. So she calls it magic. I'm not really saying she's being targeted. YouTube is just a mess. It has been for years. And that's one of the things I've blamed on the problems with my channels. So that wraps up this video. Let's check out the macros on dinner. 11 grams of fat, three grams of carbs, what? and 16 grams of protein three grams of carbs that's not right because she had potatoes in there <laughs> she had potatoes in there so she's got some protein from chickpeas and lunch <laughs> she kind of just like rolls over it like she doesn't she doesn't care about it but in her in her mind i bet she's like oh like why doesn't she just have some real bacon we know what abby sharp's like she's really not supportive of plant-based even though she just pretends to be supportive of plant-based just for the views and just so she doesn't get hated on by swayze's fans okay that'll wrap up the video she was just sucking up even harder to miles it was like very uncomfortable oh my god so i kind of love this guy already um i think we're kindred spirits honey miles honey can you invite me to lunch sometime <laughs> i get you miles you are a cool guy honey yes bud can we get more vegans like you and fewer vegans like freely he's a lot like me but in a cute british man form just sucking up Okay, we're finished. Is this still a short video? And instead of me giving the usual spiel that most YouTubers make, let's hear Freely do it. Just do one thing. <laughs> Just do one thing. Vote, whether it's an up or a down. Just do something. That interaction is really valuable. If you appreciate these videos and you want to see more of them, then that helps a lot and it helps spread the message. And leave a comment. What's your favorite fruit? <laughs> Let me know what your favorite fruit is. Let me know who you want me to do. Anything! <laughs> a reaction to okay i just got that she uses the word vote for the thumbs up and down yeah that is a good term to describe that it's interesting that takes me back to a complaint i had about her years back that she was influencing her viewers to not vote in elections 